and welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, my name is Jennifer Hayes. I have an Etsy shop where I list vintage jewelry. And here on YouTube, I open bags of jewelry and boxes of jewelry and jars of jewelry to see what good I can find to list on my Etsy. Um, today, I'm going to be opening a box from my friend Mike Flipping Goodies. Um, I'm going to probably just do a little bit at a time because this is big and it's probably tangled up. Um, so, let's go. I'm going to um, start now. I'm going to move to the side. I'm going to start. I already did cut it open, so I won't have to do that. And then we're going to see what we can get. And then I will stop and then either finish the video or come back and edit it so it's all together and it won't take a million years like my last video. Okay. So inside the box it looks like yes. Okay. So I'll just pull some of the loose things off that I can until I can't pull any loose and then I will um, start untangling and then bringing it back and showing them. First thing we have here is a box of earrings. So it's for the Sophisticate surgical steel post, one pair of earrings. The box is open made in China. Like this, a pair of pierced earrings, a silver tone post, dangle. Okay, first thing. Next we have a garter belt. Something for the bride. I'm assuming this would go for old too. Blue and old. Next we have a some kind of probably Fitbit watch or some kind of watch. In better days, a little rusty there. A little dirty there. And we have a little Mother's Day pin. In 1914, President Woodrow Wilson made an official announcement proclaiming Mother's Day as a national holiday. It was to be held on each... Oh, it was to be held each year on the second Sunday of May. The carnation was selected as the Mother's Day flower, chosen because it represents sweetness, purity, and the ending, oh, and the enduring quality of a mother's love. Very cute. Very, very cute. All right, then we have this gold tone leaf pin. And it's not signed. I don't know if it's a real leaf dipped in gold or not. This one's pretty nice. It's not signed anywhere. Very good condition. Little box here. No. Avon box. And we have some pins. Survivor. American Cancer Society Survivor. Then we have the flag ribbon pen. And another one. And these say, oh, Election Official 2002. And what do they say? Just James Wesley LTD on the back of those. like a um, brooch that's missing its cabochon part or cameo or whatever was in there. And signed. And we'll find something to maybe go with it. Here we have a gold tone leaf brooch with a faux pearl. 
And I do believe this is probably Sarah Cub, because I have another one. Yep, Sarah Cub. This one, the stuff is coming away on the faux pearl a little bit. Got a little cute pair of post earrings. Green stone in it. Green rhinestone. Hyperallergenic. Forgive my dogs barking. My kids are outside playing and the dogs are going nuts. Here we have a little silver tone chain. Uh, with a spring ring clasp. Looks like the clasp is broken on it. That's craft. Uh, here we have a little pewter, a uh, pewter bracelet. Some roses on it. It's not signed. Oh, it is very soft though. Been so easy. It is unsigned anywhere. Very cute though. Let's see. Here we have a. It's like some southwestern. I don't know if this is called a concho or something. We have this. Don't know what it's for. start I guess a few things here we have a gold tone and you know, plastic looks like yeah the paint's coming all plastic beads with the pearlized paint on it and this has the little snail kind of link on the chain part with a barrel clasp. It's a long necklace. Be pretty if the paint wasn't up. Oh, that one just came apart. Okay, so craft. Yeah, these are really pretty. Let's do this one first. This is a choker necklace, silver tone, rhinestones. Faux pearls with a leaf design. Has the hook clasp somewhere. Oh, but it's, it's missing its hook, maybe. It might be broken. Mm, that's a bummer. It's very cute, though. Be nice to craft with. Maybe I can find the uh, hook the other piece in there and put it back. Very beautiful. Oh, I think that was, let me see, I think that was unsigned. Yeah, nothing on the back of that. The chain missing. Let's see what else we have here. We have a little religious charm bracelet. Silver tone. Religious charms dangling. This is very cool. Has a fold over clasp. And I don't see that it's signed anywhere. I will check these charms out. I will check these charms out later to see if any might be signed. Or test them. See if they may be silver. Looks kind of vintage. Older. What else do we have here? This one's stuck. Yeah, that one's kind of stuck. We have a gold tone leaf brooch. Unsigned. Like a bracelet, silver tone, blue rhinestone. It like has a little A B on it. This is so beautiful. It's a 
back does not appear to be signed. I don't see a signature anywhere. You look on the clasp. Nothing on the clasp. Nothing on the clasp. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. Okay, this one is a silver tone chain with a silver tone pendant with some rhinestones. Your rhinestones. And this has a hook clasp. And this one does have a dangle on the end. It is signed. This is a Sarah Coventry piece. This one's in really good shape. It's a newer Sarah Co. Um, you could tell by the little mirror thing. Very nice. Next we have a glass necklace. Purple tone. It has some faceted um, purple beads on there. Glass beads. And then some white glass beads that's speckled with purple. And this one has a hook clasp. Let's see if it's signed. Nope, there's nothing there. Sometimes these hooks will have something written on the back, so you should always check. And this one's really pretty. And that's in really good shape. See what else we can get out of here? Here is a gold tone circle brooch. Unsigned. And does have some issues, but the beads are still reusable. Maybe I could do something with them. If I ever have time to make some jewelry. And then we also have this gold tone necklace. With these little square panels. This is all sorts of tangled up. Tangle that later, but looks like that. Trying to see if I can find the other end, see if it's signed anywhere. But I don't see it. I will let you know if I can find anything on that. Doesn't look like it though. That. And I'm trying to look for some loose stuff. Here we have a glass bead stretchy bracelet. And this looks like it has some flat and some gloss paint. And it has a little floral design, maybe. Leafy looking with some Chinese writing. Stretch is okay. Unsigned. Here we have a screw back earring. Not quite sure what to make of it. Looks like it has some plasticky pieces and glitter and little plastic leaf probably homemade by somebody and that is not signed getting a little rough here's a little pendant missing some rhinestones silver tone nothing special oh this is pretty here we have a little brooch Silver tone. Looking like a little, maybe a little gold tone in the middle. Or maybe, I'm not, I can't really see it good on this. But it kind of looks a little yellowish in here where the rhinestones are in the center of the leaves. It is really pretty. This is unsigned. 
Seems to have all the rhinestones up. Pretty brooch. Let's see what else I can get out of here. Oh, this is cute. And this is gold tone, kind of little wearing. And I don't know if anybody's seen these or know what these are. These are actually um, glove holders. You would hook them to your purse or your maybe belt loop and hold your your gloves back in the day. It does have a little design around the edge. Pretty cool. It's a chain. It's cool. A clip on flower earring, daisy, kind of grayish color, gold tone back clip, unsigned. Let's see what this is. See a pretty brooch. Here's a beautiful brooch, silver tone with some blue rhinestones. Very pretty. Pack looks like this. And this is just a brooch. Some of them you can also wear. They make them as pendants too. This one's not. Seems to be just a brooch. Very, very pretty. I love this. Appears to have all the rhinestones at first glance. Love it. Gold tone, screw back earrings, leaf. They're both together. And these are unsigned. They're looking really nice, shiny. Great shape. Cool. Another pair of hyperallergenic earrings. Also have pink rhinestones. Post earrings. Cute. Here we just have an empty bag. Shreve, Crump, and Low Company Boston. Little felt bag. What else do we have? I can get off easily. Oh, here's a cute little bracelet. It's got some little flowers and faux pearls you can see the glue yellowed around the faux pearls a little bit still a pretty bracelet seems to have all the pieces it has a fold over clasp and is unsigned pretty though big clumps of jewelry that are stuck together so we're going to try to go under that this is interesting here we have a little looks like a cake and this seems to be maybe a place card holder that you would put somebody's name tag in for the table maybe silver tone little felt on the bottom cute cute oh. Let's see what this is. This is cool. This is like an old wallet. Like something's inside. This is pretty cool. Oh, looks a little vertigreed. But we already have a rosary. Desperately needs to be cleaned if it even can. Look at all that vertigree. Really nice though. Really, really dirty. Pretty. It's in this cool little leather pouch. Interesting. It's so cute. Alright, let's see what we have next. Oh, I already see one's missing. That's a shame. This is a pretty, pretty brooch. I can already see that there is one missing right there, unfortunately. I hope it's in the bottom. This is really beautiful. This is gold tone. Then with the 
those reddish brown beads amber colored rhinestones the back looks like this and I don't see a signature box I have a little box Shine silver plated. I don't know what this is. We have a little, it's like maybe a Mary praying or something. And it is gold tone. Not quite sure what this is. The bottom looks like this. I don't know if you can see that. If anybody knows what this is, leave it down in the comments below. It's not signed. I don't know if it's supposed to go on top of something or no clue. Very cool though. That's all that's in that box. Probably did not come out of there. Let's see what else can I get? There is a bag of it looks like button covers. A little Canada pin. And some you know, button covers. And we got some glass glass cabochons from something. That's pretty cool. Oh, let's see what the cabochons. Oh, well, these are pretty. They have that star sign on these button covers. Pretty cool. These aren't signed. That. Oh, they were broken up. Looks like it was a clay barrette made by somebody. Oh, what is this? This is kind of kind of gross a little bit. Um, this is somebody's curl on a bobby pin. Anybody know anything about this? The ladies used to wear these in their hair, or is this a newer thing? If we pin is this flat, then let me know. And I hope that's not somebody's real hair. Alright, let's see. Oh, this is cute. I wonder if this is gold filled or something. This is a little pin, a little pinwheel kind of design. Or entwined rings. Oh, has a C class. Looks really pretty old. It needs to be cleaned to dirt in there. I don't see anything written on it though. But it is really cool. Test that. See what's in this little box. Here we have a little orange box. Open. Hmm. These, these are little plasticky plastic rings or something. Two white ones, two pink ones, two black ones, two green ones, two tan ones. Anybody knows what these are for? Let me know. No clue what those are too. Box is cute though. looking. Right, let's see. Here we have some watch extenders it looks like maybe. There's some peaches pieces to a watch band. And some little pins for it. Empty card. At the bottom here we have some kind of cool wire kind of I would say wire wrapped but there's really nothing in the middle this is pretty cool don't know if it's a pendant or what it's to oh this is cute here we have a little embroidery or cross stitch pin this is so cute floral 
antique gold around there design maybe design on the back not signed this is very cute I like it I like it Let's see what we have here oh this is cool um not it does have a hole in it maybe it's a pendant maybe it does have a spring ring on it or a ring it says mail it opens up it has little pieces of paper where you can write some addresses it actually has somebody's address on there Roberta somebody who lived in Albany, New York. Oh, this is cute. That's definitely purple vintage. Got some little charms. That is so cute. It's gold tone. I give my dogs, they don't know how to behave. Cross, religious cross. We have Jesus and the sheep for animals. And it does have a little saying on the back. It's too kind of small for me to read right now. Let's go on with some black paint. We have some more little pins. These are religious pins. Alive in Christ, two of them. Okay, let's see what we have next. Oh, here is the other, other earring. Get it off. The other earring to match that other homemade earring we found with the screw back in plastic. Here we have some kind of little thing for something. Clasp. Here is a little. Not quite sure who that is. It's a little figurine. It's just a little metal thing, not jewelry or anything. Maybe just a little religious charm. I don't see anything signed anywhere. Don't believe it's silver, but I will test it just to be sure. Here we have some, some little worn earrings. These are cute. That's a shame. Maybe they just have to clean them up and see how they look after. They have a little floral print on them. And these are clip-ons. They are unsigned. Gold tone leaf brooch. This one's really pretty. I like it. And I don't see this one signed either. Still pretty. Good shape. We have some kind of little gold metal something. Looks like something broke. Let's see what else I can get out of here. It's a big ball of jewelry here. Just tangled together. Here we have some a silver tone long necklace. And this one says made in West Germany. Wait, it's got this tassel on the bottom, silver tone chain, kind of the light aluminum kind of chain. The clasp does say, the fold over clasp that says made in West Germany. It's in really good shape. Cool. Here we have a silver tone necklace with some little squares. I 
and this has some dangling little chain from it too. It needs to be untangled. This is on an extremely long chain, I'm not quite sure which. It does have some little dangling chain. squares, some dangles, and it's got a lobster claw clasp on a silver tone chain, unsigned, here we have a vintage necklace, gold tone, and some purple plastic resin beads in purple and lilac color like that chain looks like that and it has the purple dangle on the end I don't see this signed anywhere uh, very cool Uh, we're going to end this video soon because I don't want to go too long and then I will just make another one. Here we have a gold tone brooch. Unsigned, needs to be cleaned. Yeah, unsigned. Good shape. We have loose down here. This is interesting. There is a Hannison. Sounds like there's medicine still in there. 25 cents. Fast pain relief. I don't know if I can get it open with my nails to see what's inside. No, I can't get it right now. But I'll let you know what's inside. I'll let you know in the next video what's inside if I can get it open. We'll leave that to the side. Alright, a few more things. Oh, we'll do this. This is beautiful. Oh, this is on the chain. Never mind. We have to wait for that. I'm going to have to untangled. Here's a bar brooch. Looks like it's missing a couple of the faux pearl rhinestones. I mean, faux pearl beads. I'll look in the bottom to see if they're there. And it's unsigned. It's on a card. Mm. Here's a cute little clip on earring, little guitar. And it has like that shell kind of. I don't know if it's shell, but. Kind of like the buttony kind of shine to it. Like a button looks kind of like a shell. And that one is a clip on and unsigned. Cute though. Here we have a clip on earring with a root beer colored bead or glass cabochon. And this is a clip on. And this one is signed Lorenza. It's Lorenza up in here. This is in good shape. Hopefully we'll find the other one. Beautiful. Clip on. Let's see what else we have here. Oh, here we have a wooden heart rope I mean, charm pendant. The different layers of wood. It's really cute. I really don't like wood jewelry most of the time, but this is cute. I like that. We have a vote pin. This is up. 
here we have a brooch. This is a plastic flower. And this one, well, something too. That one's broken, but this one does have the pin on it. And I think I'm going to stop it here so I can make another video. No one likes too long videos. But I'll be back with what else is inside for another video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.